Hey Virgos, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you guys so much for tuning into these messages. This is your January 2023 energy reading. We will be tapping into messages from spirit, pulling some oracle cards for you guys, seeing what it is you need to know the most uh, for this month. And then we will tap into a spread for your finances and career, as well as a spread for your relationships, personal relationships, friendships, and your love life, Virgo. Okay, so if you find yourself enjoying this content please go ahead and show your support by hitting the like button leaving me a comment and subscribing to the channel for some extra messages and without further ado virgo we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it so let's see what the moonology deck has to say for you clarity confirmation holy spirit for my virgos for the month of january 2023 what is it that they are needing to know very general messages for the virgo collective okay or cross watchers so please just take what you feel um, intuitively resonates for you and leave what is not for the next person. So let's see. Energy for Virgo spirit. We have be bold and make the first move. Okay. We also have adjustments are required here. It kind of feels like something is long overdue Virgo or a decision, um, a decision or some sort of course of action that you should have taken in the past, or you've been kind of prolonging or holding on to something or holding back from something um it feels like you're doing that in january or there's a need for you to do this or address this okay uh regardless of whoever whatever it's concerning for you and then we have the answers you need are coming yeah it's like once you make these adjustments um once you are bold enough to make the first move to change something initiate something end something plan something decide on something whatever it is um the answers you seek are coming whatever this is that you're seeking support help um companionship financial increase whatever this is if you're trying to meet a certain co a certain goal virgo i feel like things will pick up for you or things are going to be picking up for you um very soon here so let's see what's at the bottom we have don't let your pride get in the way okay this is leo energy uh and we also have gemini energy here on the table as well so yeah there's something um you like your pride and ego may be blocking you virgo it may keep it may be keeping you stuck in a particular situation it may be keeping you um putting up with something or it may be blocking you from from making some sort of change some sort of move here and i feel like if you remove that okay and you adjust whatever needs to be adjusted here you're very close um to some sort of like solution or resolution or manifestation manifestation something manifesting here so let's see let's go ahead and see what the wisdom oracle deck has to say for you guys we already have imagined so yeah um i kind of feel like you guys are it's like you're wanting better you're imagining better um or there's something where your reality may not necessarily line up with uh like your fantasy or your desires may not be necessarily lining up with your reality um and i feel like that is requiring you to make some sort of changes in your life yeah exchanging gifts here okay i feel like you guys are um desiring or trying to ma manifest some sort of um situation opportunity uh partnership that's reciprocal here but it requires you to leave something behind virgo okay or i feel like yeah there's there's something or someone that you're in you're exchanging um gifts with you're exchanging your energy with that it's time for you to leave behind or there's some sort of mentality or routine or behaviors here that need adjusting okay fork in a row because it kind of feels like you guys um are stuck or you have been stuck in some sort of like plateau yeah, clean it up. It's a lot of, um, I'm getting like residual energy here, possibly from like, you know, last year, 2022, or there's something that's old and tired here that needs to change, Virgo, or needs to be cleared up by you. Um, so you could walk into this energy in this season of being blessed, your blessings here. So let's see. Yeah, that was confirmation. If you could hear that horn in my background, Virgo. So we have to the sea. We have co-create. Now, some of you guys could have already changed what needed to change. Um, you know, you could have already made some sort of adjustments, um, decision, came to some sort of conclusion here. But I feel like you've been thinking on it. There's something that you've been like pondering on for some time. 
um, thinking about for some time, but maybe you haven't made the choice or you haven't, you know, let go. There's something here. But in January, I feel like you are getting rid of whatever needs to go so that you can co-create with the universe, so that you can make something happen, so that you can be in alignment with um, whatever you're desiring or whatever is meant for you. And then we have deep knowing. Yeah, it's kind of like um, you may have been trying to hold on to something. I keep getting that or hold back from doing something here. Or you may have been trying to make a certain something work, whether this is like the way you're going about, you know, something um, like a routine or like some sort of connection here, a partnership, relationship, romantic or platonic. But like deep down, you know that something here is just not it for you or something needs to change or something is not in your alignment, Virgo. Um, and we have soulmates here. Okay. I'm also getting to, it's like, once you clear up whatever needs to be cleared up or cleared out, um, you may, it's like, you're walking into the energy of like co-creating and manifesting in the month of January. There's something that you're on your way to, whereas it's like, you have this deep knowing, um, the sureness, like something makes you feel sure, secure, um, and stable here and it can definitely definitely be relating to some sort of partnership with the soulmates card we have time for a nap okay chaos and conflict whatever this is that you're aligning with whether it be a person an opportunity or just being more in tune with yourself virgo um it feels like it's long overdue okay and it feels like you're walking into an energy of like being able to rest not being not having to worry about something here getting away from this chaos and conflict okay message in the bottle um and breathe all right so let's see we're gonna hop into um your overall stability okay your finances and career get a sneak peek at what it's looking like as we enter um january as we enter into the new year i saw the balance card at the bottom okay magician energy which is your energy virgo as well as gemini um some of you guys could be like entrepreneurs or you're wanting to you know kind of branch out into uh, entrepreneurship or there's definitely some sort of goal at hand um, in terms of your stability finances and career and it feels like you have everything you need Virgo to like achieve some sort of goal here let's see what's ahead for your finances clarity confirmation Holy Spirit for my for my Virgos all right so we have uh, triumphant success okay we have suffering and silence here yeah i feel like y'all are trying to like you're really trying to achieve something uh, maybe you've been putting in a lot of time effort investing into a particular goal in terms of like your money your stability um and you may feel like you know it's just not getting you anywhere or you're not getting the results um that you're that you're seeking here but there is a breakthrough here okay um the ace of swords with the nine of swords is ten of swords energy so there is some sort of hardship or some sort of stress surrounding um your stability and your finances i feel like it's letting up in the month of january or you're seeing signs of it you know getting ready to let up or become easier for you yeah and then we have stand your ground here okay um so i see you guys ending the month in a very strong a very stable position i also feel like spirit is just not wanting you to give up um wanting you to know that you're on the right path and your hard work is about to pay off here virgo we have mental conflict at the bottom let's see yeah hope card it's like you're waiting for something um you're waiting for some sort of results or some sort of break or for something to pick up or something to increase um you may be worried about like you know you're, yeah you're worried about your finances or your stability but we got fulfillment and wishes here okay so you're moving out of the suffering and silence card into uh, fulfill, fulfillment and wishes and both of these cards are number nine so it feels like you're very close to some sort of achievement or breakthrough um and leo had a lot of that energy too so some of you guys could be on the cusp of like leo virgo or you can have leo in your chart um or leo is significant it, a leo could be significant to your success or your stability as well with this harmony card coming out um but yeah it feels well deserved virgo okay some of you guys are, are receiving some sort of major opportunity or recognition or um something like that something could be going like viral as well like if you are um if you are like promoting something on social media or even if it's not social media it could be word of mouth here it's like a lot of um a lot of people are finding you or a lot of people are supporting you or a lot of things are shifting to kind of increase your financial stability okay um, and like I said, mental conflict, partnerships and alliances, choose wisely, awareness. Yeah. And if you're wondering what you should do next, okay, or um, if you're just wondering about like 
kind of how to maneuver and how to build your money, Virgo. I feel like there's some sort of clarity that you're getting, okay? There's a good idea or a good opportunity coming in, or there's something also, mental conflict. I feel like this is tying into uh, possibly the beginning of the reading when we talked about something needing to be let go, cleared out, a decision needing to be made. Once you remove whatever is keeping you in this mental conflict, whatever is clouding your judgment, it could be like a friendship or a relationship or something. Once you remove this blockage, it feels like it's external to yourself. You can think more clearly, clearly Virgo, and then a material and a spiritual prosperity is coming in for you. Yeah, patience and planning temptation, um, and firm foundation. It feels like there's a blockage in your life, um, in a form of like a person or a situation here, something that's distracting you. Maybe you can't focus on your work and your finances, or maybe you couldn't. And once that's removed, I definitely see like your stability flourishing in the month of January. All right. So let's see, let's pull some, um, some tarot cards just to further clarify what your finances is looking like for the month of January. And just the overall beginning of the year and what it is that you need to know, Virgo. Any guidance, any advice, clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Virgos. All right, so this is you popping out here. Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen, regardless of your masculine or feminine. Watching this, Two of Cups here, okay. This is divine alignment. I feel like people are loving you in the workplace or whatever this is that you do. If you're an entrepreneur, Virgo, um, and seven of pentacles here. Yeah, something is definitely um, being nurtured. It's growing here. Um, and I also feel like you guys are just like heavily focused on your stability. So again, there may have been some sort of distractions in your past. Maybe you were feeling like a lack of motivation or maybe you were just juggling a lot, but I see you guys hard at work in the month of January. Um, and we do have the devil card here. Let me see the devil card, the six of pentacles. Yeah. Y'all are like going hard. I feel like the devil card with the six of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles, like this is the amount of, um, the amount of work and dedication that you're putting into something. And I feel like spirit is giving this back to you or people are giving back to you. Like the universe is giving you this abundance back. Okay, yeah, nine of cups, the eight of cups. Something could kind of like really like blow up out of nowhere or like increase out of nowhere. Um, this could be some sort of financial opportunity, a windfall of like money. Something here is definitely having that effect. Let's see what the queen of pentacles is. Clarity, confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Virgos. What's the Queen of Pentacles? I feel like you guys are doing something new or trying something new in terms of like your finances and career. Okay, you're seeking new opportunities. Um, we got the King of Pentacles showing up here. Yeah, and we have the Four of Swords. I feel like you guys are like stepping something up here. But for a lot of you guys, I feel like there's a relationship. Okay, there's some sort of partnership. I keep getting that because you have the King and Queen of Pentacles that may be or may have been affecting like your workflow or your focus or something here um what is the two of cups clarity confirmation i also feel like there's somebody coming in virgo to like help you be some sort of help be some sort of support okay some sort of exchange of energy like out with the old and with the new um and i feel like you're you're surrounding yourself with or you're meeting someone um new who is very beneficial to like um to your finances and career stability overall. Maybe this is just like a um, a companion. There's something here where is it, it makes it easier for you to focus um, or it gives you more motivation to focus on your money, Virgo. Yeah, the tower card. Okay, so the tower, the king of wands, okay? Um, or again, you guys are just like really stepping it up here. And I feel like you're taking control. There's some sort of control that you're taking in your life, Virgo. Um, and it's kind of like having a domino effect over into like your finances. Okay. And your overall stability. Three of Wands is at the bottom. Um, I feel like you're taking action here, especially with the King of Wands. It's like you're no longer waiting uh, for something to come to you. You're going for it or you're stepping it up here. You're stepping up some sort of game. What's the uh, Seven of Pentacles? Clarity, Confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Virgos. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Okay. Um, I feel like you're breaking free too. Some of y'all are breaking free from like an employer or like some sort of mentality or again, some sort of external blockage that was keeping you, your mental clouded. 
Um, and that's greatly benefiting you in the month of January. We got the Queen of Swords. We have the Empress. You got your eyes on the prize, Virgo. There's prosperity ahead. Okay, your mind is made up. Um, and a magician, this is you, okay? Gemini and Virgo, you guys are definitely, ooh, and you got the Three of Cups here. You got the Three of Cups, something you've been waiting on. There's some sort of support, a collaboration, something you've been waiting on is coming in. But I also feel like Spirit is seeing that you are very serious about what you're trying to achieve. And like I said, they're giving you that same energy back. It feels like you're being rewarded, Virgo. Okay, Three of Wands, the Sun card, Page of Cups. You've been waiting for something to come through, some sort of communication, some sort of offer, something to kind of like take off. And it feels like that's exactly what's happening. Let's see what this Devil card is. Clarity, Confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Virgos. What's the Devil for the month of January? I keep wanting to say December, okay? So something about December could be very significant. Capricorn energy, that's what this Devil is. December going into January. So maybe there's been some sort of blockage or a rough patch here. But I feel like towards the end of January, things are definitely picking up for you. The Moon card, the Temperance. Yeah, you're balancing something out. I feel like um you're you're becoming more successful because of something that you're getting something else that you're getting rid of in your life virgo um and then the nine of wands yeah this is something um i feel like you're very protective of your stability of your finances here and i feel like you're not allowing in the, any distractions in okay or you're not allowing anybody to like play with your energy or something like that and because it's so protected um Quite naturally, everything else is going to like increase for you as well. Yeah, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, King of Cups, and the Hierophant here. A lot of y'all might need to protect yourself from a particular person, okay? It could be a water sign. It could be a Capricorn. It could be a Taurus. It could be anybody. I got um, Cancer here. I have Sagittarius here. There's somebody here. That's what I feel like. I feel like there's somebody here like seeking seeking you virgo like in a romantic way but i feel like this person has intentions on like your money or something or putting a hold on your money or like stunting your growth stunting like your ability to like like produce or um work or like expand as an entrepreneur I, for some reason i feel like there's a person as your blockage or there was a person as your blockage um and it's like you need to cut this person out i don't know if they're spending too much of your money or they just have ill intentions they feel entitled to your money your stability something like that this person has to go virgo and i feel like you have definitely um or you will make the decision to kind of get rid of this energy in january so let's hop into your partnerships okay partnerships friendships romance for january 2023 clarity confirmation 1717 is what i just saw on the clock virgo so that could be significant for you or like 888 could be significant for you aquarius could be significant for you aquarius season maybe january 17th could be significant for you i'm recording this on the 16th okay clarity confirmation for partnerships for virgo spirit what is it that they need to know photograph popped out here the grim reaper popped out here and date popped out here yeah you guys are moving forward i feel like so photograph talks about looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories um somebody is definitely holding on to your energy the grim reaper the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life I feel like spirit is wanting you to let this person go okay or maybe you already separated from whoever this is platonic or romantic it feels romantic though because we also have date here it says meeting someone new dating um getting out there planning set a date so y'all could be meeting a new love interest or maybe just like a new friend some sort of new companion um but i feel like it's like maybe it's after you're getting out of something here virgo okay so like i said earlier it's like out with the old and with the new there's some sort of transition that's happening at the same time whereas you're getting rid of what doesn't serve you who doesn't serve you and you're aligning with somebody new and it's like it almost feels instantly like like once this person is out of your life, like there's another more high vibrational type of energy that's coming in. And we have girl with the snake. It says empath and narcissist paradigm. Yeah, being charmed or used enable boundaries here. So spirit is guiding you to enable some sort of boundaries. You could be dealing with someone who has narcissistic uh, tendencies. Or like I said, it was like somebody was planning on your stability, planning or plotting on your stability, your money, um, your resources. I don't know, like your fame or somebody was like expecting you to do all the work and they kind of just like bask in the energy of it all, Virgo. Um, but I feel like spirit is moving that situation out of your 
your life, that person out of your life so you can align with somebody who's more so fit for you. So be open to change, Virgo. Be open to receiving. We also have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and we have the Star card. So again, um, I feel like there's a good opportunity or a good um, match, somebody that's very much so beneficial to like your mental health, spiritual health, emotional health. Yeah, the Nine of Cups that you're meeting or you're coming into alignment with or you're like... Um, you're realigning with in the month of January, but I gotta admit, it feels like it's more so of a new energy. Yeah, Five of Cups. Clarity, Confirmation, Holy Spirit for my Virgos. For January 2022, what is the partnerships looking like? Love and romance, spirit. What is it that they need to know for January 2022? All right, so Virgo, we have the Seven of Cups and we have the Page of Pentacles. So it's a new beginning. I feel like y'all, you could be leaving behind a water sign or just a situation that was just like so confusing, a lack of clarity, very messy, um, possibly non-committal here. Um, and the Page of Pentacles is like a stable new stance that you guys are taking in terms of like your partnerships. And then we have Justice. So you're walking, some of y'all are walking into some sort of like commitment or this is like karma. This is really good karma. Like the universe, it feels like the universe is replacing situations and people in your life. But since we're talking about like your partnerships, you know, platonic and romantic, there's something it's like because because you walked away from something, um, you're being rewarded with some sort of um, good partnership here. Or like I said, as something that's being cut off, like you're getting you're getting what you deserve in terms of like the people in your life, in your life, Virgo or a specific person. Libra could be significant. Um, yeah, somebody was holding you back. We got the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Strength card. Some of you guys are dealing with another Earth sign. Okay, um, Strength card here, the Three of Cups. And I feel like this person is being blocked or you're blocking this person so that you can wait on true companionship, true love, a true friend. And that's what this is. The Two of Cups and the Lovers and the Ace of Wands, Virgo. The Devil, the Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody that's going to really pour into you. Somebody who really finds you attractive. Somebody who really cares about you that I feel like you're mad manifesting um but i do feel like somebody is gonna like be upset at the fact that you're not um tied to their energy anymore let's see what's the seven of cups yeah the devil the seven of cups energy was tied to the devil could be a capricorn or just somebody who's controlling like i said somebody who has narcissistic tendencies or obsessive behaviors um or some sort of addictions here okay page of cups and the four of pentacles this could also be somebody coming back around a water sign a capricorn um or an earth sign coming around like trying to rebuild something with you virgo okay in the month of january but i feel like you're focused on the new with this page of pentacles so yeah somebody the eight of pentacles is at the bottom somebody definitely wants to work on something with you but i feel like this person has not changed here or this person is giving you the bare minimum or this person is holding you back virgo friend family or romantic partner what's the page of pentacles clarity confirmation somebody could be very selfish with this um with this knight of pentacles or maybe you're choosing to be very selfish with your time virgo and who you give your time to um in the month of january what's the page of pentacles spirit clarity confirmation for my virgos that was the king of pentacles that wanted to pop out okay um seven of swords all right the magician is here yeah you're doing something in silence okay the moon card here or you could be like you could be healing okay it's like you're working on something in silence or you're bowing out of a situation or maybe you're ignoring somebody you're ghosting somebody um but the magician is you virgo yeah and the will of fortune you're manifesting i feel like you don't even know you don't even see this coming okay or you don't even know what you're manifesting exactly or it's like something that you want or you desire is showing up much better than you could ever you could have ever thought virgo somebody is showing up in your life better than you ever could have thought with the will of fortune could be a leo scorpio Taurus or Aquarius um but what's the moon card you're doing something in private or there's a need for you to keep some sort of new situation partnership or something like that private or silent here okay because I, I do feel like there's the energy of like a person or certain people wanting to block that from you Virgo what's the moon card clarity confirmation when you come into alignment with this person definitely keep it to yourself what's the moon card Okay, or maybe somebody just doesn't have access to what you're doing and they're trying to figure it out because it's very secretive energy here. The Three of Wands, yeah, it could be a Leo, the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Scorpio, and the Three of Swords. I feel like what you're doing is too, there could be some sort of deception here. 
Okay, it's like you're leaving you're leaving this deceptive person behind or like the shadiness behind, some sort of secretive energy behind. I feel like y'all are calling somebody out on their bullshit or you're seeing straight through a situation and you're cutting it out here. Okay, maybe you're just waiting. It was only a matter of time for something to happen. It was only a matter of time before somebody showed their true colors or something like that. You're receiving exactly what it is that you need to fully move forward from a situation. Some of you guys are receiving like some sort of divorce paper or something dealing with the legalities as well yeah ten of cups is here four of cups the ace of cups there's something that you're receiving or like you're on the better end of it okay um or like you're you're winning in whatever this is okay regarding whoever this is for you virgo What's the justice card? Because karmic justice is stepping in. I feel like something could really be going in your favor, Virgo. Or like somebody may have tried to like set you back, stop you, or one-up you or something like that. But your spirit guides are stepping in in the month of January. What's the justice card? Clarity confirmation. Oh, yeah. Six of cups to the death card. So this is something, someone from the past here, okay? Something that was not satisfying you. Somebody that was trying to hold on to you, give you the bare minimum. Maybe you have history with this person. Six could be significant. Six or more, you know, months or years could be significant. A Scorpio could be significant with the death card here. But something, it's like spirit is stepping in. There's somebody spirit does not want you in alignment with. It showed up in the financial part of your reading, Virgo go it's showing up here and i feel like enough is enough like spirit is breaking down some sort of foundation here okay for whoever this is they're stopping somebody in their tracks yeah the hangman or something's coming back on somebody like somebody is getting some real nasty karma virgo for trying to like um one up you or trying to like take advantage of you or something like that okay pisces could be significant as well and we got the star card so you're getting all the favor the six of swords okay oh and you're getting Getting, you're getting some sort of reward here, Virgo. Spirit is, there's some sort of tower moment happening. I don't see the tower card, but it's a tower moment happening, Virgo, or something's being stopped, something's being blocked. Um, somebody's being removed from your life because spirit, it's, it's time for this other person or this other opportunity to come towards you. They could have heavy Aquarius placements, okay? Or this could happen later January, Aquarius season, and it's going to leave somebody else out in the cold with this Eight of Cups. Um, what's this Knight of Pentacles? Okay, but I feel like this is this is somebody who, again, they didn't want to give to you. They were stingy with their offer. They were selfish. They were moving too slow or everything had to be on their terms or something like that, Virgo. What's this Knight of Pentacles? What's going on with this energy? The temperance wanted to come out, okay, which is you um, letting go of that energy here, tempering yourself, aligning yourself again. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, the high priest is in reverse. This is somebody that was blocking your intuition or this is somebody that wasn't really truthful here, wasn't really honest. Pisces energy, the five of swords, and they get their ass stuck right where they at, Virgo, and you're moving on to your new beginning, okay? Aries could be significant as well, and the ace of swords, something is definitely final, okay, because spirit says so. So I'm going to leave it here, Virgo. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how this resonates for you. If you would like to book a private reading, that information is in the description box below, as well as if you would like to tap in to the exclusive perks and content that I post on my Patreon. That's below as well. And I will talk to you guys next.